Hi, my name is Ilma and this is from Ilma Art Studio channel and I'd like to share with you today my poem devotional entitled Words, Words, Words. This is extracted from Proverbs 18 verse 20 which says, wise, wise words satisfy like a good meal, the right words bring satisfaction. Words, words, words. Words give you meaning. It allows you to get something. Words can offer solace. It can also bring menace. Words from the wise leads to good advice. It allows you to see and open your eyes. Words can bring satisfaction. It can also lead to destruction. And here is the essay part of the devotional that I wrote as well, which is entitled, Wise Words Bring Satisfaction. Long before people created words, they used nonverbal communication using hands, grunts, moans, facial expressions. The evolution of words has brought various changes in our lives. For some, words can bring unity and harmony. For others, it could bring conflict and destruction. There are some people who can't comprehend the essence of words. Because of this lack of understanding, they misuse or abuse it. It is important that people know that words have power. It can make or break someone. Proverbs liken words to a good meal. It says that right words bring satisfaction and you know it, it makes you feel better when 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 you are given good words. Do you use words to create peace or steer anger? The Bible significantly stresses the power of words. God used words to create the whole universe and man. We are constantly guided by words through scriptures to live our lives according to God's plan. Words tell stories that can change lives. Wise words bring satisfaction in our whole life. Prayer, Lord, grant me the wisdom to use words to encourage others. Reflection. How can words break or make someone? And with that, we end this poem devotional today. Um, I'd like to invite you to check my website at www.ilmaarts.com. And that's I-L-M-A-A-R-T-S dot com. And um, <clears throat> in the background are some of my sketches, which I usually show something every day. Maybe starting next week, I will start to come up with a canvas or with with a what do you call that something to put the paintings on, so that I will be able to show you one painting a day and explain to you how I did a painting and maybe do some some tutorials on it. But in the background, as I said in some of my videos before, this is the Westminster Church by Orangeville on one of the main roads of Orangeville. And that one beside that is the Toronto um, City Hall. It's the old City Hall. So this bu building is really old. And the one above this one is uh, is one of the buildings. It's one of the old houses along um, Broadway Avenue also in Orangeville. And with this we end this poem devotional. And I hope that you will take into consideration the importance of words. Because words can mean a lot to some some people and people don't realize that it's through words that we, we we give clarity to something and we are able to communicate what is in our mind what is in our hearts so thanks for watching and we'd like you to stay tuned to this channel every day because I'm posting um, videos every day on the poem devotional that I write based on all the words that God has given us in the scriptures God bless